Hey everyone, this is a review of Tough Built's Cliptech Tool Belt System. I've been using the Handyman Tool Belt set for quite a while, and recently Tough Built contacted me and asked me to do a review on the whole system, so they sent a few more pieces over. We're going to take a look at how versatile this system is and how it's really great for people that are always changing up what they're doing and what tools they need every day. Now the reason this is called the Cliptech system is because of these little hubs that go onto, they clip onto the belt. So they open up, close them, and lock them in place like that. Uh, they've got a metal pin at the top and the bottom, and what really does the heavy lifting is this plastic cleat right here. Uh, it's very sturdy feeling, uh, and it's got no moving parts to this part that's actually supporting all of the weight. Your tool pouches all have an interfacing wedge on the back that goes on top of these, and this release lever right here, this is not the structural part that just keeps it from popping up off the cleat uh, unintentionally. So just line those up and snap them in place. And now that's securely on there. If you want to take it off, you've got a grab handle right here. You just get your fingers on there, push it sideways with your thumb, and it comes right off. So at the center of your system is going to be the tool belt that holds up all the pouches. This one's just the regular padded belt. And this is what holds all of your Cliptech hubs, which hold up your pouches. Uh, so this outer webbing belt attaches to the inner padded belt, which is connected by Velcro. There was also an extension that came with this uh, when I originally got it. If you have a bigger waist, you can use that. This belt also comes with loops for holding up suspenders. I don't use it, but I've left them on there in case I decide to go that route eventually. All right, so to go ahead and model this, uh, just wrap the Velcro like that, clip the buckle on the front, then you can grab your tool belt. Pop it right on. Grab another tool belt, pop that one on. There you go. When I was doing trim with this, I could just hang my nail gun off one side and I got my tool bag on the other. So the set that got me into the Cliptech system is the handyman tool set uh, that comes with the contractor pouch, the padded belt, and the universal pouch. So you can mix and match if, if one of these, they, they have a bunch of sets that you can buy to get into the system, or you can just buy the belts in whatever pouches you want individually. You get a little bit better of a deal if you buy one of the kits to start with though. The universal pouch is a little bit smaller, more compact. Uh, so if you don't have a bunch of stuff you need to take with you, this is a good option. It's got a hard plastic line spot right here for, a, I guess, a jab saw or something. I actually just use this utility light in it because it fits in there perfectly. You've got a tape clip on most of these pouches. Uh, I really like having a clip for the tape measure on the outside. It just frees up a ton of space in the tool belt where you don't have a bulky tape hogging all that area. Uh, it's got some screwdriver or marker spots and then you can fit pliers or other tools in here. These are really tough and stiff uh, loops in here uh, and pockets, and so you're not going to be able to stretch them much. It's pretty tough fabric. It's a 1680D nylon, and it's held up really well for me. The contractor's pouch is probably one of my more used pouches. It's bigger. Uh, it can hold a lot of tools. You've got another tape clip on the outside right here. Uh, a nice big pocket right here where you can put uh, consumables, or this fits a stud sensor, uh, stud finder perfectly. Uh, lots of other pockets on the outside here. You've got a metal hammer loop. Um, more pockets, I, you know, you can fit safety glasses, pens, pencils. On the inside here, you've got a nice big area for larger tools, or you can stick other tools in these loops along the exterior of this. They fit really well. Uh, you've got another bigger pocket up here. You can put a, a full size square in here if you want to. I've got a trim square up in this one and a punch. Recently I did. Now one of the great things on the back side of this, there is a kickstand. So when you've got it on your belt, it velcros down like this and it's out of the way. And if you want to take this off uh, and, and work somewhere in one spot and have your tools available, you just pull this out, set it down, and it stands up on its own. I really love this feature about these tool pouches. Most of the bigger ones have this kickstand, the smaller ones generally don't. So I've got a combination here. Uh, I've got the eight inch tote, and this is the uh, pouch that comes with the eight inch tote. And I've also got the specialist drill holster right here that I usually keep attached to this tote. This pouch that comes with the tote is, is nice and compact. You've got a lot of loops for things like screwdrivers. Once again, you've got a tape clip on the front. 
Uh, and then it's kind of similar to the loadout of the universal pouch. It's got these two spots right here. You can fit pliers or vice grips or things like that in there. And then a bigger pocket in the front. The specialist drill pouch is really great. I love this thing. Uh, it holds any 18 volt or 12 volt drill. I've tried impact drivers, 18 volt drills, 12 volt drills, all sorts of stuff with this. It holds them all. It's got a lanyard that buckles around here if you're climbing up somewhere high and you don't want to take the risk of dropping anything. Uh, and it's also got some Velcro. If you unbuckle it, you can Velcro it up here, or I just let it hang down underneath. Usually, I'm not usually using it, and it's out of the way. On the side here, you've got some loops for clipping stuff too, uh, and you've got two screwdriver pouches on the side. And then on the front, I really like this. You've got spot for fasteners, or if you've got something like the FlexiClick, you can put attachments in here. And then right here, you've got a ton of spots for drill bits or driving bits. You can see I've got drill bits tucked here in this elastic pouch. There's another elastic loop right here. Uh, and if you've got a bunch of different fastener types, I've got Torx, Robertson, Phillips, um, all different sizes in here, driver bit extensions, big drill bits, a ton of bits fit in here. It's really great uh, for doing anything with a drill driver. And then on the other side here is a pouch. It's actually a little bit hard to get to if you're right-handed and it's Velcro covered. And I really don't use this. I think it's kind of wasted space back here. Um, I wish there was another loop or something like that uh, for a smaller tool, but it's underneath where your handle's gonna stick out so you can't put anything tall in here anyway. All right, now let's talk about the eight inch tote because I think this thing is awesome. Uh, so if you take this off, it's got a clip tech hub that comes with it right here. You can put any pouch you want on here. If you put some of the heavier pouches on here though, the whole thing kind of leans a little bit. So I'd stick with something that's like the, the drill specialist uh, holder, the pouch, or something smaller than that because really heavy stuff will make this bend. Uh, it's got a handle up top that you can unclip. It's got a buckle and clip it back in. There's also spots up here. I've got this one, this light hooked into it, but you can do a shoulder strap for this as well. Um, on the side, you do have a tape clip here, and I think this is the one thing I really don't like about this. If you're clipping stuff on and off this hub, these, if you've got a bigger pouch, this tape will get in the way, and you'll have problems. You've got to pick it up out of the way and clip these on. That's really the only complaint I think I have about this uh, tool pouch, uh, the tool tote, uh, is I wish this was on the other side over here somewhere. On the front, you've got a ton of storage for things like pliers. Uh, I've got all sorts of pliers, wire strippers, and everything in here. You've got another tape clip uh, for a tape measure. Lots of spots for pencils uh, with these loops right here. Um, there's just a ton of storage space. And I like pouches and tool totes that come out like this uh, because you can fit stuff in the middle. If you've got all your tool loops and everything this way, it's hard to get stuff out of the center. So that's what I like about this. You can also open this up if you're having problems getting to something. Uh, on the inside, there are three individual uh, separators. You cannot take these out, unfortunately. I wish you could move these dividers, but they're permanently in there. And then you've got loops for screwdrivers or things along the side here. On the back, you've got more storage. I keep Allen keys in this. And on the other side, you've got a spot for, you can have like a torpedo level in here, some bigger drill bits, uh, wrenches, things like that. And there is a loop down here at the bottom uh, you can clip stuff into as well. And then on the inside, there's this little tiny pouch. I like to keep a laser distance measure in there. There's also a separate loop uh, if you want to clip something in there as well. So I love being able to grab this thing and go, and you can carry all your tools on this. And if you want to have a little bit extra that you want to put on your tool belt, you can just either leave this empty or if there's something you always keep on your, on your person, uh, you can just clip this right into your tool belt wherever you are when you're ready to get up on a ladder or something and then you've got your whole tool bag down on the ground and you've got what you need immediately right on your person. Now having all these pouches just scattered everywhere can be a little bit disorganized and that's where a clip tech hub comes in handy. Uh, Tough Belt has this mounting rail for them uh, and you can put this anywhere. Uh, it's got little standoffs to keep it away from the wall, so you can even slide these back and forth uh, while it's on there. 
uh, and you can organize them, or you could probably get some bar stock yourself, uh, make some standoffs, and have any unlimited length that you want. This one's 24 inches, um, and I'm a little bit annoyed that they don't have 16 inch spacings, so you can put these in studs, because tools can get pretty heavy. Um, these are spaced 12 inches apart, so you probably have to have a backer board on this if you're gonna mount it somewhere on the wall uh, where there's drywall. Now you'll notice on the back of each of these Cliptech uh, hubs, you've got two screw holes. So you can actually mount these directly to the wall. Just close this, put your screws in through the front here, screw it into the wall, uh, and you can load out your tools on the wall directly. So at the end of the day, you can take everything off your tool belt and just hang it up right on the wall. So I think this is a great system. Uh, I love the modularity of this tool belt and being able to take the pouches on and off. Um, not only can you switch out your tools really easily, but if you're kneeling down working in one area and you don't want to have that weight on your belt, you can just take the bigger belts off, the bigger pouches off, and most of them, a lot of them have a kickstand on the back, and you can just set them down next to you while you're working. So while you're working, you just have the regular belt on. You don't even need to take that off. You've got all your tools within arm's reach, and when you're ready to get up and go somewhere else, you just grab this and clip it back on your belt. You're ready to go. So if you want to go price some of these bags, I'll put links to Amazon in the video description. And if you want to see some in person, I believe Tough Built also just recently got shelf space in Lowe's as well. So you can go there to check it out. So overall, I think this is an awesome system. Uh, I, I really like using it. I, like I said, I've been using it for quite a while myself. Uh, and no complaints about it really at all. Um, there are a few things here and there on some of the tool belts that I wish they'd change, but there are so many modular options. If you don't like one tool bag, you can just go pick another one. So that's what I really like about this. It all works together, um, and I think it's a great system. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.